Welcome to Ethical Word Education. In this session, we'll be knowing a simple circles without use of the Arduino boards. So let's know the output. How does it work? So as you see, this is a potentiometer, whereas it works like based on the changing of this potentiometer. You can just observe the intensity, the brightness. It is going, it is decreasing. So when you increase the potentiometer, you can observe there is a la brightness in the LED. That is how it works. And the second one, it works based on the button. So when you just click on this button, we can observe there is a light up in the LED. When I just click it, it will be in an off condition. Whereas this, it is on automatically one by one. And the last circuit, this is a DC motor and this is a photoresistor. It works based on the light intensity. Uh, and we can observe there is some rotation in this DC motor. Whereas I click on this and I increase, in, increase this, you can observe there is a speed in the DC motor. Yeah, so it's, it's, it is like too high speed. That is how it works. So now let's design these basic circles. Let us let me stop simulating and let, let me start from the beginning. Yes. So let's start by clicking on the circuits and create new circuit. Yeah. And in the components, let me select this all and we'll take one by one. So first we'll take a cell and we'll take this DC motor because we are running this DC motor and we require a battery. Hmm, yeah, we'll select a battery. DC motor and the battery and photoresistor. The last component, photoresistor. Yeah, so first connect with this DC motor and this battery. So this is a positive. We can rotate this positive terminal and negative terminal. So let's start this simulation. Here we can observe the rotation is in the clockwise. So we can make this into anti-clockwise. All is that you should just reverse the connection. Just delete the connection and reverse it. So positive to negative. That's it. So now we'll start the simulation. Yeah. So the direction is it is, it is in the opposite it is an anti-clockwise that is how we can change the direction so now we are using with the help of the ldr so let's design with the help of the ldr let me do in the clockwise direction only let us rotate this First, we'll connect this positive terminal of the DC motor to the terminal 2 of this connection because the supply has to go in this way and this other terminal has to connect to the positive of the battery. And the negative one, directly we can connect this to the negative terminal of the battery now there is no code required because we are not using an Arduino board it is just a simple circuit let's start simulation we can observe there is a very less rotation here there is a 6 rpm when you increase this the speed it's getting increased it is 311 rpm and when I increase completely, you can observe there is completely change in the rotation. That is how it works. 
yes so let us take another another circuit so another circuit is about we require the cell let me take as a cell all we require a resistor potentiometer because it is also work based on the variation of the potentiometer just we are increasing the voltage so that our led gets brightness it get brightness that is how it works and we'll select the led we need let me make it yeah okay so the last one we require the cell for this connection hmm. so let's start the connection has here we can see there are three terminals terminal 1 viper and terminal 2 so what we are supposed to do is let us make this okay the terminal 2 will connect to the resistor and the other terminal of the resistor to the positive of the cell and this viper this is to the signal we must get signal from the led that is why it is going to the led part and other end to directly we can make it as a ground other end of the led also a ground so let's start running here we can see this is in the off condition and this is too slow so when i just increase this the variation there is and difference in the led it's just a light little so when you increase yeah so there is an light up some brightness in the led in the same way when i just increase you you can observe there is a speed so that is how it works based on the variation so now the remaining two simple circuits are pending so let us take a cell whereas we are designing with the help of a cell we need two cells and we need a led here two led back to back we are lighting up here the one led with the resistor and the push button as we are operating with the help of the push button we are lighting up an led but without using an arduino board this is light switch kind of push button this is a slide switch here we need a two resistor yeah so let's start the connection part yeah so here there is an anode directly we can connect to this resistor and the output of the this led is being connected to this resistor and simultaneously we have to connect this to the common part because we have to get the connection the signal through the led so that is going to this part and other end directly we can make it as a positive and this will be the negative and another end of the led also we can make it as a neg uh, ground the negative part of this yeah this is this part is done now let us connect back to back of this led so let me give may make it as a common path this is a common path and other end that is an anode so this anode we can give to the resistor whereas this resistor and this as this resistor and this both we can make it as common and from here we can connect to the positive yeah that is of at 
looks like. So let's start simulation. As soon as we click on the simulation, we can just observe there's a light up in the LED. Uh, if it change the resistor, what happened? Let us see. Yeah. Um, there is some decrease in the color. So this is too high. You can't give it as like this. Okay. So let me start. Yeah. You can observe this. And here, if you just click on this only, you will be getting a light. We can observe there is a light up in the LED. When I just click on it, it's been off condition. That is how it works. A simple circuits without using an Arduino board, we can design these simple circuits and we can include in the projects.